It's been a little while since I've spoken to you about nothing, and since that last video, an awful lot has happened. I've been up to their only physical store in London. They released updates for the OS for both Nothing Phone 1 and Nothing Phone 2. They released another glyph pack as well to go onto the phones. And most excitingly of all, CMF by Nothing have now released their first three products. So there's plenty to look at in this video. I popped up to London recently to the Nothing store. It's the only physical store in the world. It's just behind London's Chinatown. If you're watching this in the UK, or maybe you're coming over to London to visit, I'll leave the address to the store in the video description, but it's well worth popping in and taking a look at. All of the products there, of course, Nothing Phone 1, Nothing Phone 2, the audio devices, screen protectors, cases, and some really cool merch. Now, I went there during London's Design Week and nothing had opened up the basements of the store for London Design Week. And down there, they had a load of cool contemporary products that the Nothing engineers and designers had freely admitted they'd used as inspiration to help them style the brand that we now know as Nothing. So if you're in London, it's well worth taking a trip down to Chinatown and popping into the Nothing store. During the summer, Carl Pay announced there was going to be a new brand coming out for nothing called CMF. We assume, although I don't think it's been confirmed, that CMF stands for colour, material and fabric. And the whole idea behind this sub-brand was that it was going to move away from always being clear and transparent devices. And also, it was very much aimed at budget. Now, over the weekend, they did release the first three products from CMF. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into London. They were on, on sale in store in London over the weekend, but I couldn't get there, sadly. But we now have the first three products to have come out from CMF, and the specs on them are pretty impressive, certainly when you take into account the price. So let's start with Buds Pro. They're one of the highlights of the three products that they've released. I'll tell you the price in just a moment, but if I tell you you're getting 45 decibels of active noise cancelling, 11 hours of playback, and ultra bass technology as well, you can see they are a pretty serious pair of earbuds. They come in three colours. As I mentioned, they're moving away from the transparent idea with the CMF brand. They come in a vibrant orange, a grey, and a black. And if you download, or the best way to get the most out of any of Nothing's audio products is to make sure you download and install the X app on your phone. Now, if I were to tell you that you were getting all of that technology, all of those features on these Buds Pro, how much do you think they cost? $49. CMF seems pretty serious, doesn't it? On to the next product, probably the least exciting of the three products they released, which is a charging brick. It's a 65 watt charging brick. And on there, you're going to get two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. In the States, you can't get the in the gray, where well, they called it a dark gray, apparently it's so dark, it's virtually black but uh, I believe in the rest of the world in Europe, certainly you're gonna be able to get it in the gray black color and also in a vibrant orange. It's small, compact, and you'll be able to charge everything with it. Tablets, iPhones now, of course, smartphones, you'll be able to charge everything from that brick in a 65 watt brick that's small and compact to put in your overnight bag or in your rucksack, sounds like another great device. And that is going at $39. They are really, really serious when it comes to price. And part of loving Nothing Phone 2, is loving the Glyph Composer. And I mentioned early on in the video, there's a new Glyph Pack, which is now available. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it. This time it's been produced along with the help of London-based Mercury prize-winning producer and singer, Sampha, who himself has got an album coming out in a few weeks' time, so keep an eye on Spotify and Apple Music for that. He popped into the offices in London with nothing and then was personally involved with producing this new Glyph Pack. So don't forget, go and grab that and get it onto your phone. And when you've made your ringtones, don't forget to share them out with the community as well. And onto the most exciting product that CMF released over the weekend was the Watch Pro. It looks very, very similar to an Apple Watch, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It features 1.96 AMOLED display, Bluetooth cooling with AI noise reduction, and a built-in multi-system GPS as well. Obviously, it integrates with the Nothing phone, and there's all various apps that they're going to release to go with it as well. And it's the price, again, that wins out for the Watch Pro. $69 for a smartwatch from Nothing. That is unbelievable. If it works anywhere near as well as we're expecting it to at $69, well, all of these products, to be honest, I mean, if I'm doing my maths right, you'd be spending just over $100 to buy all three of the products. And hopefully in time, I will be getting them to review on the channel. Uh, I've reached out to nothing, but uh, their PR isn't too wonderful. They haven't got back to me at all. 
If you'd like to see me review those three products by CMF, the Charger, the Watch Pro, and the Buds Pro, then I need your help. Subscribing makes a massive difference to a channel of my size. It really does. And don't forget, while you're subscribing, turn on notifications. It seems that most of you are, that are subscribing are forgetting to turn on notifications, which means you don't get to see the videos as soon as I upload them. And I want you to see them first. Clearly, you're the guys that are watching me week after week. And if you're enjoying the content I'm making that much, you can even leave me a super thanks as well. But just having you along with me each week makes a huge difference. And if you're enjoying the content, don't forget, make sure you subscribe. And yes, I will be getting my hands on the Google Pixel 8 Pro as well to look at over the next couple of weeks. Right, let's carry on with what else has been going on in the land of nothing. They've been developing and updating their OS for both Nothing Phone 1 and for Nothing Phone 2 with some fairly meaningful updates. If you're one of the early adopters to Nothing and bought Nothing Phone 1, well, during August, they now made OS 2.0 available on your phone. And it does come with some meaningful improvements as well. There'll be some home screen improvements, the Glyph interface is improved, you've got some more Nothing widgets that you can add on to your home screen, and also there's some new app features as well. So make sure to get that 2.0 update onto your Nothing Phone 1. And if you recently bought Nothing Phone 2 during the earlier part of this summer, the OS for that phone has been updated as well. That should now be running 2.0.3. And again, it's got some big improvements on that OS. You're going to be getting a new Compass widget, improved Bluetooth connectivity, and the much asked for improved haptic feedback as well. There's loads of improvements to the cameras as well. There's improved clarity of faces in indoor environments, an added UI element to show when it was shooting in HDR and also enhanced photo clarity in the 50 megapixel photo mode as well. And another improvement was on the selfie camera. So if you're using a selfie camera and using it with apps such as Instagram or TikTok, that too has had a load of improvements made to it. So make sure to get all of those updates done on Nothing Phone 1 and Nothing Phone 2, because as you know, it makes a big difference to how your phone operates. And also I've noticed the battery life has been slightly better as well since I've put the 2.0.3 update on my Nothing Phone 2. So there was just one feature I wanted to mention in particular that they've improved from that update, and that was the double tap to unlock. I don't know how many people are using or aware of it, but before it was a little bit hit and miss, whereas now, since the update, it works first time every time. It's a really, really huge improvement they've made on that particular feature in the 2.0.3 update. I think that's kind of wrapped up what I wanted to talk about on this week's video. It's really bringing you up to date with what's been going on with Nothing. As I say, they're a company, a young company, they're exciting, vibrant, and they're moving at a hell of a pace. I just hope their PR department would answer some of my emails so I could work a bit closer with them but they are making some very exciting and innovative products and they're winning awards as well. They won awards this week for the best mid-price smartphone too. So clearly they are getting the recognition they deserve. But if you'd like me to get my hands on those CMF products, the charging brick, the watch and the earbuds, let me know which one of the three you're most interested about and are you going to be buying them? I mean, at those prices, they are a steal. Don't forget, make sure you've got the latest updates on your phone as well. And if you really want to help me out and get those products on the channel to review, don't forget, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll leave a couple of videos for you to watch at the end, all about nothing that I think you might enjoy. But thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.